What is up my dudes, cheap bastard talking to ya, and today I will be reviewing a setup older than your local fence lizard, which has probably seen everything in his life, but I swear, if this setup could talk, the owner would be sentenced for two death penalties. Anyways, this is my homie's 2016 Razer setup that consists of a Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard, which he bought new at the time for... 193 euros? Wait a minute, no. Oh, he actually paid it. And a Razer Death Adder Chroma, the 10k DPI version for which he paid 90 euros? And of course, my personal Razer Kraken Pro headphones that I bought new in 2017 for 63 euros. So, I guess that the first question that popped up in your head was, why did my homie pay 300 euros for this? Is this keyboard made out of gold? Well, he said to me that RGB and Razer in 2016 was the coolest thing you could own and brag about to your friends at school. RIP PARENTS MONEY By the way, this review is solely based on the people I know and my own experience. Naturally, what comes to mind is... Was it worth it? Well, yes, but actually no. As many of you know, Razer is, or at least was, a weird company. It used to have what they call a quality lottery, so basically either you get their product which will run as smooth as this guy, or a product that you'll encounter problems within a year, if not a month. And his setup was no exception, but we'll get to that later. Now more about the setup. Firstly, as I mentioned, the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard. It's definitely a great keyboard to use, it's comfy even 4 years later, with some nice Razer green switches which are loud, and most importantly, the eye-blinding RGB lights. But the thing I like the most about this keyboard is the customization. With the Razer Synapse app you can customize the keyboard's lightning in any way you'd like and add macros of any kind. And now for the... Mouse. It's a 10,000 DPI, don't know why you'd want that much, gaming mouse. It is a big and really comfortable mouse to use and along with the sensor accuracy, it used to be one of the best mice money could buy. Just like the keyboard, it also has Razer Synapse customization and one feature that is really great, surface calibration. Basically, you can set the sensitivity of your mouse for liftoffs especially nice for esports games. But today, this mouse couldn't even be detected by its software. And now, let's talk about these Razer Kraken Pro headphones. For the past 3 years, I've been using them everywhere. They can be used for gaming. The corner tactic. Mowing the lawn. Going through mental breakdowns. I wake up in the morning, I got booty on my mind. Listening to the music you want while you are in the back seat. And so much more. You name it. The design is really good with this retractive microphone, and the sound is good for 63 euros with healthy amounts of bass. And now, how are these peripherals standing after four years of heavy usage? 
The keyboard is actually working fine to this day even after daily beating, but not with some drawbacks. The spacebar has been karate chopped by the master Ugwe, the backspace is kinda slow and a gum support thingy is missing. Overall, not bad after 4 years. That's literally 10 times longer than any Acme product has survived. As for the mouse, using it is equivalent to petting a monkey. You don't know what to expect. Even years back it used to have some performance issues like random movement, shutting off and even a defected scroll wheel right out of the box and many many more. And no, new drivers didn't help. The mouse is problematic even today, it only works when the wire is in a certain position. The finger support is sliding off all the time and it has a burn mark, but that's his own fault. The funny thing is, I bought the same exact mouse from a friend and guess what, about 4 months of using the mouse, the left click stopped working properly. And the same thing happened to my other friend, his freshly bought full Razer setup works perfectly, except for the mouse. As for the Razer Kraken Pro headphones, quality wise they are pretty good, although after these years of usage there are some wear signs. So the ultimate question, do I recommend buying Razer products? Well from my and people I know experiences, I would definitely recommend getting the Razer Black Widow Chroma and Razer Kraken Pro headphones. And for the mouse, if you like risking quality of a product then go for it. It seems that Razer products only now have reasonable pricing and quality wise I couldn't find any legit quality based feedback so I hope this video will be helpful to you. For the most part the quality should be pretty decent and in the end of the day it's your decision whether to buy or not. If I forgot to mention something in the video don't hesitate to ask and subscribe to avoid misunderstandings like this. And don't forget to stay cheap my dudes, cheap bastard out.